In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to derive the tangents of either an ellipse or an hyperbola. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the uh, with the case of an ellipse and then uh, go on to prove it for a hyperbola. So the only difference with the hyperbola is that this thing over here, instead of plus, it turns to a minus. But let's deal with that later. Okay, so suppose I have a point P, x0, y0, but um, I can also write that as a cos theta and b sine theta, right? So on an ellipse, okay, so this is a really rough drawing. So that's point A, B, negative A, negative B. P is an arbitrary point that I either I can write as x0, y0, or a cos theta, b sine theta. But basically what I'm really after is how do I find the equation of a tangent of an ellipse or a hyperbola? Okay, all right, let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is differentiate. Okay, so any question, regardless of an ellipse or not, you have to differentiate to find tangents. Um, so this time I'm actually going to do it implicitly, so so that it so that you don't need to do do with square roots. Okay, so this differentiate is going to be two x on a squared plus two y. But anytime you differentiate y according to implicit differentiation, you have to write dy dx all on b squared, okay? And this side, because it's equals one, a constant, that's just gonna be equal to zero. Okay, so what is dy dx equal to? So dy dx, when you rearrange things, it will turn out to be, uh, so the taking the minus, will be minus x on a squared times uh, b squared on y. I didn't, I didn't really bother putting the twos, but if you want, the twos are there, but they'll cancel each other out. But that's what you have, okay? So just to neaten things up a bit, b minus b squared x on uh, a squared y. Okay, so that, that's our tangent. So at, say, x0, y0, this is simply going to be, just substitute that in. Okay, let's let's just substitute x zero y zero in, and we'll do the the, the parametric the the a cos theta sine b sine theta case in a bit. So I uh, will have my my the equation of the tangent is going to be y minus y zero is equal to minus b squared x zero on a squared y zero times x minus x zero. So this this is just the point gradient formula where where this is the gradient, right? Okay, uh, now, I'm, now I'm going to manipulate this a bit. I'm going to multiply it through by the denominator, a squared y zero. Okay, so that I have uh, a squared times y y zero minus a squared times y zero squared over here. And on the other hand, I will have minus b squared x x zero and then plus uh, b squared x0 squared. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this term onto the other side and I'm going to take this this term over here, swap it around. Okay, so I'm just moving moving things around so that I will get a squared y y0 uh, is, sorry, plus b squared x x0 is equal to a squared y0 squared plus b squared x0 squared. Okay, so the thing on the right hand side should remind you, it, well at least I hope it reminds you, of what we saw up here, the, the original equation, right? So if I if I divide this entire, well on both sides by a squared b squared and over here a squared b squared, can you see that over here that I will end up getting y0 squared on b squared plus x0 squared on a squared, which, hey, guess what? It happens to be equal to, equal to one, thanks to this equation, right? So, because x0, y0 satisfies your ellipse, okay? Because it's on your ellipse, you can do that. So it'll turn out that the equation of a tangent, in this case, is going to be, uh, oh, what is it? So it's, it's gonna be uh, x, x0 on a squared, 
plus y y zero on b squared is equal to one. Sorry, I had a mental freeze over there. But there you go. That's the equation of n tangent. And really, if you if you look at this, all that's happened is that I've taken one of the x's, right? So I have x squared over here. I've taken one of the x's and substituted x zero in there instead. The same thing with y. I've taken one of the y's and substituted y zero in there. So effectively, you can think of that's really what's happened in this uh, in the equation of tangent. Okay, uh, I actually shouldn't have used x0, y0. Anyway, let me just call it x1, y1. You'll see why in the next uh, next video. All right. Now, in the case of a, uh, in the case that it is a cos theta and b sine theta instead, right? So x0 is a cos theta, y0 is b sine theta. Um, in it will actually it's x1 is a cos theta. I'm just going to substitute this in here so that I will get a x cos theta on a squared plus b y sine theta on b squared is equal to 1. So I can do the substitution, right? Because a is, sorry, x1 is a cos theta and y1 is b sine theta. So now simplifying this thing down, I will end up getting uh, x cos theta on a plus uh, y sine theta on b is equal to oops not b squared is is equal to one. Okay, so that's that's the equation of a tangent in the case of a cos theta, b sine theta. So these are the two equations. Okay, in the case that it is a ellipse. Right? The only thing that's going to be different is that I have a minus over here. Okay, so if that's a minus over there, my the de the derivative over here is going to be so instead of being minus, it's actually going to be a positive. Right, so it's still going to be b squared x one on a squared y one, but it'll be positive. Okay, so let's 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 just use that fact and and start. We'll rewrite the equation. So it the equation is going to be y minus y1 is equal to so just looking at this one again it's going to be b squared x1 on a squared y1 times x minus x1 and so that is the equation of a uh, tan sorry that's 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 the equation of a tangent for hyperbola all right let's go about solving this one so again, I'm going to be multiplying through by uh, the denominator, just to get rid of this. So I will end up having a squared on a squared y, y1 minus a squared y1 squared is equal to b squared x, x1 minus b squared x1 squared. Okay, so I'm going to move the, variable, the one with the variables, which is this thing, onto this side. And the constants onto the other side. So I will end up having a squared y y1 minus b squared xx1 <coughs> is equal to a squared y1 squared minus b squared x1 squared. I actually should swap these two around, okay, uh, just to be consistent with what I had up here, right? Because I had. Uh, what was the equation? So it was x squared on x squared on a squared minus y squared on b squared. But anyway, just just bear with it for now. Um, so with this equation over here, what I can do is again as before, I can divide through by a squared b squared, and it's the same story with the other side, a squared b squared. So when you do that for for a hyperbola, you will find out that this, or in because I have swapped the two terms around, it will end up being equal to minus one because I will end up with y1 squared on b squared minus x1 squared on a squared, right? So because it's minus one, uh, I will have on this side, uh, j just, just fixing up the terms, I will end up having uh, b squared, so not, so not b squared, it will be x x1 on a squared minus y y1 on b squared is equal to one. 
and this is the equation of a hyperbola. Now if you're thinking can I swap in sub in a cos theta and b sine theta that's wrong the it turns out the parameters for a hyperbola is actually a sec theta and b tan theta not not cos theta sine theta anymore because as soon as I sub in a sec theta and then square it and divide it by a squared and then I have b tan theta instead of y squared and divided by b squared I hope you remember that sec squared theta minus tan squared theta is actually equal to 1 okay so this, this actually comes from the fact that cos squared plus sine squared is equal to 1 you can divide through by cos squared and get this identity okay so this part is just x squared that's just one and this that's your tan squared okay so so rearranging that you end up getting one so uh, as far as subbing it into here all you had to do is replace x1 with a sec theta and y1 with b tan theta uh, so in this case we will end up having x uh, x sec theta so the a one of the a's will cancel off with the a squared right so and then it'll be minus b y tan theta again the b cancels off with the b squared at the bottom is equal to one and that is your equation of the tangent for a hyperbola okay if you have any questions or comments please let me know uh, i hope you enjoyed that video so uh thanks for watching